Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of WoW Classic. Robert Rambles here and thanks for joining me today. We found out that the Moonsteel Broadsword is something that an actual blacksmith crafts and then they sell it on the auction house for us to purchase. And that's what we need to turn into the guy here at the house in Witch Hill. So we're going to go back and do that. Someone also gave me a tip to look for like a dirt mound that might be clickable somewhere around his house, but they weren't sure if that was a vanilla quest or a cata quest. So we'll, we'll check that out as well. But I'm fairly certain he's going to have a follow-up and I'm willing to bet that it's for frog legs. But we'll see. First, let's look around uh, for any clickable thingies around his dwelling. Aha! Loose dirt, you say? I'll look at your loose dirt. Let's see what this is. The Orc Report. Sifting through the loose dirt, the severed hand of an orc is found. And clutched in the hand is a, bo is a bone carved tube. And in the tube is a dirt stained parchment. The parchment is, is written in orcish. And it looks important. Bring the spy's report to a Theramore lieutenant. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So thank you for the tip. You know who you are. That's amazing. Probably wouldn't have wandered over here. Uh, and we'll report that as soon as we're in Theramore again. We know a few lieutenants. You need something? Here is your blade. That's a good blade. It has a good swing. It's a good swing blade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want to try it. Later, I'll try it. But like I was saying, thanks. This guy is like the worst, creepiest person that we have met. Oh, we're getting both of these. See you later. Well, that's good. We'll vendor the pants. Uh, we are going to equip the ring. Because... Why not? It's better than what we have. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Firstly... Who is this guy? This is a player. Okay, not important. So, this didn't chain into anything? That's unusual. Very, very unusual. I was almost positive that this became something else, but... Let's go back and turn in the orc report. Because that's a green quest. So clearly, we were expected to be here a little bit earlier. Oh, did I mention, have you heard about Fury Stance? Rather Berserker Stance. We're dual wielding, by the way, guys. We're dual wielding. Kind of a big change up. It took me a long time to get our weapon skill up to where we could even hit. Uh, let's see our current weapon skill. And I'll show you what we're rocking in a second. But we have a sword in one hand. We're at 186 with swords. With axes, we're at 188. And so this is what we've got going on. We've got the Greater Scythe of the Tiger in the main hand. And we've got Noble's Brand of the Tiger in the offhand. These were like the affordable weapons in the auction house. I don't even really want to talk about how much I spent on them still. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't in... It wasn't a small sum. But I've been really enjoying the spec, actually. As you can see, it is a little bit more uh, fast-paced now that we're hitting. And this is without using any of our DPS cooldowns. But look at that. And I found that we can take like two or three mobs at a time if they're green. And usually we don't have a problem taking on two yellow mobs at the same time with this spec. So I have been thoroughly enjoying it. I start off... Uh, in battle stance and I lay down my charge, my rend, and demoralizing shout if we hit, and then I switch over into uh, berserker stance and I do blood rage, and then I just start in on heroic strike. If I pull extra guys or if I just want to use this on cooldown, we'll do death wish. So when activated, it increases your physical damage by 20% and makes you immune to fear effects, but lowers your armor and all resistances. We'll counter the armor a little bit. 
uh, with our armor potion so that we're not losing quite as, but this is only on a three minute cooldown so we can do this every five or six pulls or whenever we attract multiple multiple mobs uh, and if we attract multiple mobs it's easy to pop back into battle stance and we can blow retaliation and pop back into fury and lay down some whirlwinds and typically uh, I've found while grinding out here a bit and, and leveling up our weapon skill that this is a very good spec for a high kill rate and survivability is is not really lacking that much either just because you're killing things so quickly uh, what we are lacking right now is in the first aid department since I've been out here fighting mostly beasts raptors and spiders I haven't gotten any silk or mage weave so I'm actually hoping that we go up against humanoids soon because uh, we really need some more bandages like hardcore otherwise we're gonna be eating all the time and it's a little slow and annoying to have to do that, so we'll cross our fingers that we go up against humanoids sometime soon. We still have this quest that is all the way over in the Swamp of Sorrows. I have no idea if or when we're going to complete that. And now everything back in Stranglethorn is actually yellow, so once we finish up any outstanding green and yellow quests here, that tells me it'll be a good time to head back to Stranglethorn. Ah, uh, we see here is a random Theramore Lieutenant. We will what turn this quest into her. We do have a report to make. Did we read this? Is this an actual item? Oh, we no, we can't read it. It's an Orcish, of course. Like, we don't know. <clears throat> we don't know Orcish, so we're out of luck. Well met. Hmm, I can't read Orcish very well, but this looks like a report written by an Orc spy. Captain Vimes should see the Orc report you found. He knows the Orcish language better than most, and he should know that there are horrid spies near Theramore. Captain is in the barracks on the northeast side. Yeah, we know. Farewell. We know where he is. Thank you. So she's just getting us uh, to Captain Vimes, who's already well familiar with us at this point. We dealt with him before when we were investigating the history and decimation of the Shady Rest Inn. And so now we've had to run inside of this building 792 times, if you're keeping count, which I may be. More likely that was a totally fictitious number. All right, Garen. I know, we've been around a lot lately. A report from an orc spy. How did you find this? No matter. Let's see what it says. Well, I found it just digging in the dirt, old boy. Light bless you. By the light. This cursed spy was a good one. I'm glad he's dead. Thank you for this report. It is now clear that we must tighten our patrols near Theramore. Okay. Okay. King's honor, friend. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of that chain. That's kind of a little bit weird. So my guess is maybe if we had come in from to Dustwallow from the other direction, and maybe if we had found Witch Hill first, this would have just been a breadcrumb to get us here. Uh, and that's kind of the weird thing, is you expect so many of these quests to chain into something greater. Like, I'm waiting for, like, the next thing to go do about this orc spy, and... Will we ever do anything about these orc spies? I, I, I don't know. Maybe not. It would be kind of weird if we never discussed the orc spies again, but I kind of feel like that's what's happening. Uh, let's take the opportunity to sell all of our junk to this guy. Including these cloth pants. See you around. As you can see, I've completely given up on ever getting them out. Like, pre-level 60. My schedule has been pretty insane. Uh, which doesn't leave me with a lot of time or resources. 
to do what I want to do, which is to be on here playing games with you guys. So that kind of sucks right now, but we're working through it. And hopefully the future will present more opportunities for me to get in here and achieve the things that I want us to achieve. And so with that done, uh, the question is, what do we do next? Because as strange as it is, we, we might be done here for the time being. It seems like it's kind of anticlimactic. Like I would think, I feel like almost we're missing an entire different chain that should be taking us down into this southern area on the map that isn't revealed. Like, what's down there? Is that where the orc village is? Is that why we don't do any questing down there? Is that primarily where the orc stuff is going on? I'm just running around now making sure there aren't like quest givers waiting to give us quests that we don't have. Because I'm kind of thinking, you know, what the hell? Where are the rest of the quests? D did I miss them? I could have swore there was a quest at Witch Hill to click on the frogs nearby and get frog legs and there was a quest to kill ghosts. I could be remembering all this from post cataclysm, I guess, but I don't think so. Let's just go up here one more time. We, we haven't been up here in a while and some of the main people are up here, like Jaina's up here. So I want to make sure that nobody has any quests for us. Oh, look at this. And that weird graphical bug just happened. That was for... But anyway, look at this. Archmage Turvash. What do you got for us, man? Well met. Sh Shadow Shard Fragments. I've recently begun testing various crystals and their arcane properties. Lenny Proudmore has given me leave to ask travelers heading into Desolus to seek out a place called Maradon. Within the ruined temple are great elements. Elementals composed of purplish stones I've named Shadow Shards. If you decide to head that direction and find some of the crystals, I would be very thankful. I could even fashion you a trinket from them if you so desired. Collect 10 Shadow Shard fragments from Maradon and return them to the Archimedes Turvash and Theramore. Uh, so that's cool and everything. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but that's a Maradon quest and it's only yellow which tells me that god we're so far behind on getting any dungeons done that i'm just sad and embarrassed that i haven't had the time to do them we could have done library we could have done cathedral by now and i'm trying to think here <laughs> she's trying to think let's let's leave her be i i guess we're getting out of here i guess that's what uh we're doing we are going to have to head back to stranglethorn we have a few other places we could check out we could check out the shimmering flats in Thousand Needles, we could check out Tanneris and see if we can't get any quests there. But we have all these quests back in Stranglethorn, so we might as well try to wrap out at least the easy ones. Uh, Venture Company Mining, Raptor Mastery, and Panther Mastery. These are going to be just collection and kill quests. So I think, I think that's going to be what we plan to do next. I was kind of hoping there would be more to do in Theramore, but... It's Dust Swallow Marsh. Maybe there will be more to do at a later date. If you guys know of any quests that are hiding around the zone that I could pick up, uh, that's not spoilery to me. I'd love to know any quest hubs that we have missed. Because, you know, I'd like to see some more of the zone story if there is such a thing to be, to be seen. Uh, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and get us all the way back to Stranglethorn and we'll use editing magic so that you don't need to be subjected to all that. So we will see you there. Well, it is an incredibly rainy and foggy evening here in Stranglethorn Vale. Uh, I think <clears throat> there's probably no way uh, that these were the original graphic settings that it looked like in Classic. As you can see, we've got some additional atmospheric effects here. Ah, uh, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool. Although the sky does kind of look clear if you look straight up at it. Uh, the fog effects and the excessive rainfall is pretty neat. I almost wish there was a way that it could color the dirt areas, you know, darken them. 
but that's probably asking for a lot from an engine that was created in 2003. So we're looking for jungle stalkers, shadow ball panthers, and we need to find some venture company mining operations so we can kill goblins for singing blue crystals. And all this stuff is going to be going on, I think, just north of us. So we will keep our eyes peeled. And the raptors, I actually don't know where the raptors are. I've seen the panthers, I think, a little bit further north. Those are level 44 Naga. Definitely not what we need or want. I wonder how awful this will look on YouTube with all the fog and the rain. If you're not watching in 1440p on a device capable of running 1440p, I would really suggest it. Because otherwise, uh, at 1080 on YouTube, with it totally destroying the bitrate, this probably will look terrible. I don't want to fight this mob. Let's let this guy... Oh, he didn't aggro him. Oh, we didn't aggro him either. I thought for sure we'd aggro at that range, but maybe they have a really low aggro radius. I would just rather not get PvP flagged in Stranglethorn. It's kind of my hope. Let's see. Thrashtail Basilisk? No, I don't need you. Level 42, we don't want you either. Everything we're looking for is going to be slightly lower level than that because all these quests are now yellow. So the Panthers and the Raptors should be level 38, 39. Which probably just means that they're going to be a little bit further north. It seems like the further south we go, the higher level things get. Here's a 37 Stranglethorn Tigress. We don't need that, but it may mean that there are Panthers... In the area. Let's look over here. We have more basilisks we don't need right now. Aha! I had a feeling if there were if there were tigers that there would be panthers. I didn't get my rend this time because we didn't go into battle stance because we kind of got jumped. It's going to draw things out a little bit. But yeah, I've actually been really enjoying dual wielding much more than I thought I would. Let's see if we can get this. There we go. Yeah, I'd really like to be able to start in battle stance so we can get our rend off. And in a minute I'll show you guys what we've done with our talents because I know some of you might be interested in seeing that. So I'll just give you a quick look and you can see what we've done with all of our talents. Feel free to pause it. I, I won't cover these in detail, but this is the build that we've gone with so far. I'm trying to get down to Bloodthirst before we put any points in any other tree. I don't know if that's optimal. Ideally, we would probably want to have some points elsewhere, like an improved Ren, but I really want to get down to the bottom of the Fury Tree and maximize that uh, before we start spending points somewhere else. Hey, hello, we'll take you. Where are you running to? Uh, very, very far away. Okay, now if we get out of combat, there we go. I almost feel like, except for that opening bit where I do a little bit of stance dancing, like artificially, that we have less buttons to press overall. But it seems pretty quick and efficient still. 
And it still feels fast paced even though I don't think I'm pressing as many buttons. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's definitely not bad. Oh look, all the rain stopped. Out of nowhere, that's amazing. I mean, I could see that with like 15 more talent points. You know, this could be amazing. It's already like really good. Ooh, a large knapsack, you say? A 12 slot bag? Hell yes. Uh, we are definitely getting rid of our 8 slot bag here. That's awesome. I almost bought some bags and then I had to pay to change specs and we're already broke and we're not going to have a mount, so I didn't, so... Yeah, getting any kind of bags, like, that's basically amazing. I love that. I love getting free bags. Especially a 12 slaughter, are you kidding me? That's great for this level. All right, Panthers. As long as we're seeing tigers, like, we have a chance to, to find Panthers. Aha. We just need this last one, I think. There we go, 10 out of 10. That is going to go back to Nezingwari's exp expedition. Let's see if we can't find also um, either the raptors. The raptors might be a good find. Like, where might we find some higher level raptors? Maybe just on the other side of this road? Jungle, Just regular old jungle stalkers is what we need. Yeah, let's head over to the west and just see if we find any any kind of raptors. And then we'll make our way north to around Gromgol. We know there are raptors up there. I just don't know if they're the raptors that we need. Other than that, I'm not sure where raptors could be. This just seems like a bunch of tigers, honestly. A bunch of Stranglethorn Tigresses that we were never tasked to eliminate. <laughs> Definitely not seeing any raptors. Well, more panthers. Ah, uh, there's that. I could ask General and see if we get like absolutely flamed. They're gonna be like everywhere. Just look for raptors, you know. Or nobody will say anything. That's probably the best outcome. By the arena. Okay. Thank you. That is something we can work with. Uh, south of the arena. Okay. Between arena and water. Yeah, I think maybe if we go down here and go maybe even south of the arena, we might find these guys. That's cool. I'm glad people actually responded like human beings. Oh, and look at that, a jungle stalker. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. That's good. That renews my hope in humanity, and specifically in the humanity of people who engage in the games that I love. Perfect, this is perfect.
Ooh, these guys are level 41. They're still yellow, uh, but they're a higher level, so it's likely they're going to hit harder, which definitely seems to be happening. Let's just try to crank out like as much damage as we can and see how we fare against these guys. This is one tough bastard. Definitely the largest dinosaur we have battled yet. And he's just dodging, basically dodging everything. We're missing, he's dodging, we are not hitting for shit. And we're gonna pay for it, I think. Possibly with our lives. Unless something drastic changes. Uh, pretty Like an execute could help, yeah, we could get some quick executes off and maybe finish this before we die. There we go. Okay, great. One out of ten. That took a lot out of us. Uh, we either need to get a lot luckier with our hits and some of our crits, or we need to be finding guys that are like level 39 or 40 if they exist. Because that guy just kind of walloped us. He's a huge ass raptor, so I don't know what we expect, but definitely beat the crap out of us. Kind of worried that if I keep heading south, their level is simply going to increase. Uh, but then I look up here, and this one over here was also level 41. So maybe it's not going to necessarily get better. 41, yeah, it seems like they're all basically going to be the same level. So we just might have to live with that. That was a big crit. We need like 17 more big crits like that on Heroic Strike to go off. And then we'll be in good shape to be taking these guys on. Failing that, um, it just might be a little rough. Which is okay, I guess. I mean, we only have to kill 10 of them. And I have enough food to get us through. We could... T well, he's an orc, so we can't group up. You are Night Elf Hunter. You're already in a group, though. That's pretty damn unfortunate for us. Okay, and so is that grouping right there. I guess we just take what we can for now. It would be nice to get into a group, but it might not happen right at this moment. We'll watch for any newcomers to the area. Like maybe this gnome mage. He's already in a group. Everybody is being smarter than us about this quest, it seems. Uh, because they are already all grouped up. And we are not. Well, whenever they send us to kill Tethys, we need to remember that he's down here right by the Gurubashi Arena. I'm sure we'll be back for him. Uh, but for now, let's avoid, avoid, avoid. Jungle Stalker, level 40. That's good. We'll take a level 40. Ah, shit. Okay. Let's do this. And this. And this. And let's do this. And then let's go into Fury Stance and do this. And then let's hope for the best. Throw some cleaves out. Alright, not too bad. I'm sure uh, Blowing Retaliation saved us there.
Come on, we need to get some hits in. Okay. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but it happened. And yeah, they're definitely taking on that elite. I wish they would pull one of these guys so I don't have to pull another two-pack. I don't think that we're going to survive a two-pull of these guys without retaliation up. So I might be heading back north here. To see what respawns we can pick up. Still need quite a few more. And they're not easy targets. And of course we're competing for kills with this solo horde player that's running around out here, so that's not necessarily helping us either. And now he's picking our herbs, and that's just depressing, so... Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy before somebody pulls him. Level 40. Alright, let's see if we can get some kind of momentum going here. That'd be really nice. Probably isn't going to happen, but we could try to use up the rest of Death Wish at least. We also have six stacks of Enrage. But we have no health. And we didn't get any hits here that we needed. Let's pray we get this execute. Okay, there we go. We lived somehow. Let's eat and rest for a minute. I felt for sure that if we charged in there, we were going to pull that second raptor. They seemed to be pathing together. It was a little bit unsettling, so I didn't go for it. Is there anything else you guys think I should be working into the rotations? Like, should I be using Slam at all? I don't think so, but it's possible. I don't see where it would fit, but I would definitely be up for any suggestions if, if we're not using the optimum rotation. I mean, I'd love to be educated on dual wielding. It's something I'm not really familiar with, but that I'm kind of finding interesting. Two more to go, 
And then we'll go back up to Nezingori Expedition and turn these in. Basically, we're just going to use Deathwish on cooldown, I think. This guy is dodging and parrying everything we do. It's pathetic. Oh, we need to just get some hits in. Okay, one more. Level 40, we'll take this guy, hopefully. Well, they're both level 40, so either one of them will suffice. But we're gonna take one of them, and then we're gonna get the heck out of here. Pretty sure we just stole that kill from a hunter, but I'm equally sure that I don't really care at the moment. We saw it first. That's all I have to really say about that. We saw it first. Thank you so much for the help. Uh, and now we make the long journey all the way back to Nessingwary. So you guys have seen this trip before. I will spare you the travel and we will see you there. All right, let's turn these in and I'm, I'm sure they'll train into something else. Let's see. Because you prove yourself to be such a go-getter in the jungle, let me tell you about a ferocious raptor that even I failed to kill. Ajak here calls this wily raptor Tethys. If you want to prove yourself a true master, kill Tethys and bring me his talon. It would be a feat that no other big game hunter has accomplished. So we saw Tethys, we know exactly where he is, we know he's an elite, we'll need a group to take him on, that's perfect. You've almost proven yourself to be a master hunter of panthers. A panther by the name of Bog Thera has been prowling the jungle. So far, he's eluded our party. See if you can use your skills to kill the great Bog Thera. Bring me the fang of Bog Thera and you'll have earned my respect. Be careful. And we need a named panther. Okay. So, we have a few more things to do. Raptor mastery is, is yet orange, but we know where he is. Panther Mastery is yellow. And we have the only thing that we can really do right now by ourselves is going to be Venture Company Mining. So I think we'll take a break here. And when we pick up next, we will do Venture Company Mining. And I think we can find the goblins for that either to the far uh, west at the ruins of Zulkunda along the mountains or possibly to the southeast at the Venture Company base camp. So we will take a look at that next time let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always i appreciate you being here the support really means a lot to me take care and we will see you again really soon bye now